everyone, it's Molly. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. I am going to be doing a two foot by three foot canvas. So I'm going big tonight and I'm doing it as a split color base. So I'm doing white on one side, black on the other. It's just going to be a kind of crazy all over blowout tonight. And I'm doing it in, again, pinks and purples. That's kind of been the theme for clients lately. That's what they've been liking. So this one is the third painting that I've done for Rita. By now you should have already seen the big round circular one and the crazy wrecked ring kind of tropical feel. So she likes really bright colors, kind of really explosions of color. And that's what I'm gonna try to do tonight. So let's paint. Hi everyone, it's Molly. Okay, so I have had this commission for a really long time. Um, and I have been mulling over what I wanted to do and she gave me a picture it's from a painting I made a long time ago called Fireworks and it started by having almost like a yin and a yang, yin, yang, yin, yin, whatever, it's <laughs> like a, a design like that. Part of it was black, part of it was white and I blew the colors in here and or in over here and out over here. I'm gonna do something similar, but I ended up adding some little side pieces to it. This is one that I have no idea how this is actually gonna come out. <laughs> oh, so I guess I'm just gonna, I guess I'm just gonna pour and see what happens on this one. I, I know that I don't want to do just full, I guess I am going to do it kind of like I did before. Huh. This is when it gets like, when I'm very indecisive. But I think I'm going to have this more like this in the center, just one kind of like that. And then the rest on the outside. I didn't paint my sides on the black side. I should have, but I didn't exactly know what shape I was going to make. So, Ooh, that is a lot of black paint. Yikes. Yikers. Just popping any air bubbles. Okay. So I think I'm going to blow this out and then I'm going to figure it out. <laughs> Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is kind of blow, have a puddle here and blow this one kind of like a flower out this way, but to go off the sides and then have it kind of flow down here. So I'm just going to work one puddle at a time, I think. So I'm going to have the puddle here and then maybe a little bit of a line oh boy this could get crazy real fast this is a magenta that I made um no you cannot just make magenta sorry that is a a color that I made out of magenta and bright red she likes really bright colors and she likes mermaids and butterflies. And so that's kind of the color scheme, just sticking with some really bright and she likes white and black as well. So I think that this purple will be really nice. I'm gonna add some silver. And then, I don't know, I have enough white really as it is. Might just drip some on through there. Getting it off my table and reusing it. You gotta improvise. Okay, whoops. All right. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of blow and see what happens on this one. Oh, Rita, when you watch this, you'll be like, what was she thinking? 
All right, let's do it. Okay, I really like that. I got beautiful cells here on the outside. A little more muted here coming into the center on the white is really pretty. Okay. I see like a silhouette of a person right here. I'm not gonna leave that. I was very worried that right in here because I blew that black into it that it would get muddy, but yeah, I don't mind it. I do wish when I blew, I wish the first part I had blown out was that right there because this has like this little just curl that on in there. Okay. So I think maybe my next one will just be kind of like a line through here or maybe ooh, maybe my side design and blow that I don't know okay I think that's what I'm gonna do yeah I think that's what I'm gonna do oh <laughs> I didn't even know I was pouring that yet oh what is going on Okay, all right, so, oh geez. Yes, and I think I'll blow that into this one. Okay. And I'll go with my, my turquoise got a little bit lost in here. I'll be able to pour a lot of that off, so that's good at least. Come in with the pink. It's been a long time since I have just put paint on the canvas and started blowing. <laughs> like I normally have exactly what I'm gonna do in my mind, but I was telling her I really had a block on what I was gonna create for her. And that happens to me sometimes where it's just like, I don't know. It's like, like you can't come up with anything. But I really wanted to do this for her, so. She is a very kind woman. All right. The white, even though, because I have no white on this side, I really wanted some here to like really brighten that up. Okay. So I'm gonna have to be very careful with how I blow this. Cause I do wanna leave a little bit of negative space on this side as well. All right. I know I'm gonna blow off this way first.
my last little pieces in here, I'm just gonna drag on along. So this was kind of like the one that she, I mean, really not at all, but it was kind of like the one that she showed me because, oh, there's a something in there. Um, it's kind of what I did. I did like a side design around one side and blew it out on the other. My purple's gonna dry a little bit dark. I am gonna drag some of these spots just so that there's not so much of a harsh line into the white. And then I don't know what to do about this part right here. I may have to blow it off camera. I kept a little bit of my black negative space, although Got a little bit of interest through here. Ooh, I didn't want to drag that all that way. Okay, the only part that I'm not loving is this right in here. And I don't know what to do about it. So I may just kind of drag it on through there. and then create that down like a little wispy as well. Because here the colors blue through the I can't even think. <laughs> it's late. The colors here um, they kind of blended when I blew them across but I didn't have a chance to do this here because I didn't want to fully run into this. But I think I'm gonna play with this part right here. Maybe. 32 minutes later. <laughs> oh, I fiddled so much. When I get to that part, I'll, I'll tell you what I did. But for now, you can look at this. Love the white. Really love the white side. And I love the black side too. It's just where they meet. I had to play with that so much. This is so pretty though. Believe it or not, I did not touch my finger there. That is just there. So I did not like what had happened up there. I didn't like how many wispies I had or curly cues, whatever you want to call them. So I scraped that whole area, that whole area. And then I just re-poured black in that area. And then, and it's gonna, it looks lumpy now, but it'll dry. Dry, uh, flat and then that is my um, camera is not picking it up it's really dark but um, that will dry and then I may have to paint that little side there but like I said I want this to be perfect for her so I like it it was really tough to get there but I do I like it all right, thanks. I will, I was about to give you my whole, and I'm, t I'm so tired. I need to quit painting tonight. Oh, once you start, you can't stop though, right? It's like Pringles. <laughs> Anywho, I'll show you the dried result. Bye. This one is huge, huge. <laughs> I love the way that it came out on the white side. absolutely gorgeous colors and then you flow into a little bit darker and then you get into like super dark on this side I fiddled I cannot even tell you this piece meant a lot to me and I fiddled so so much to get something that I liked. That part that was right up there, 
it was not right at all. And I just had to keep going and keep going until I got something I liked. I didn't like the squigglies that I had drawn. I didn't like anything that I did. Had to scrape that whole part and try again, but I stuck with it. I'm glad that I did, because I do, I really like it. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Yep, be painting. Bye.